another video how you are doing hope you are doing good thank you so much guys for coming back my name is Cynthia if you're here for the first time you're welcome to the family and for my returning subscribers you guys are the best thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for your comments thank you for the likes thank you also for subscribing to my channel I really appreciate you I love you guys so in today's video we're gonna be making this short dress with a stylish color as you can see one of the colors is a longer than the other one and is a little bit curvy i'll be missing the sleeve with the white fabric we'll be making use of two yards of african print one and a half yards of lining and a quarter yard of um, white fabric i'll be using this for the colors and the sleeves so let's get started i will go ahead and fold the fabric into two So guys, we'll be cutting out the upper part first, that's the half length, before cutting out the down part. So this is the front part. I'm cutting out the lining and the fabric together. This is the back. It's folded into two. I folded it this way. And then this is the front. It's also folded into two. The dress fold length is 43 inches. The upper part is 17 and a half inches. 43 minus 17 and a half is 25 and a half inches. So the upper part is 17 and a half. Why the down part is 25 and a half inches? I use the biggest part of the body for the upper part to cut out the fabric. The bust is the biggest part of the body. So I added about um, one and a half inches for the back side. This is my zipper allowance. We'll go ahead and place the measurement. This is my starting point. The shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 inches. I'll add half inch for sewing allowance. That's 8 and half inches. I'll mark 3 and half inches for the wideness of the neck. 1 inch for the back depth. And 3 inches for the front depth. So I'll connect the neckline. This is the back neckline. And this is the front neckline. I will go to the shoulder here. Mark one inch for shoulder slope. I will connect the shoulder slope to the neckline. Right from the shoulder slope, I will take the armhole measurement. The round armhole measurement is 18 inches, divided by 2 is 9 inches. I'll mark 9 inches here. I'll still mark 8.5 inches here, that's the shoulder measurement. I'll make a straight line here. I will place the bust measurement here. I will look for the midpoint of the armhole, which is four and a half inches. So this is the back armhole. So I will curve it right from this midpoint. Right on this midpoint here, I will go inside by half inch. So we're trying to create the front armhole. So we connect it like so. This is the front arm hole. So we go ahead and uh, impute the rest of the measurement. The bust measurement is 42 inches divided by 4 is 10 and a half inches. 
I will add one and a half inches for sewing allowance. The waist measurement is 36 inches divided by 4 is 9 inches. I won't be adding that to the dress. So I will just place my measurement without that. I won't be adding that to it. People hardly add that to dresses and skirts these days. So I will add one and a half inches for sewing allowance. I will connect it right from the chest line to the waistline. So that's just it for the upper part. We'll go ahead and cut it out. Yeah, don't forget to mark half inch inside here. So this is the waistline. I will mark half inch inside here. And I will connect it right from here to this half inch. Cutting out the back neckline. So this is the front neckline. I will cut out this half inch. The reason of marking this half inch is to have a very flat and a nice zip. This is the front, and this is the back. So we'll go ahead and cut out the damp part. So the damp part is 25 and a half inches. I added one inch for sewing allowance. So I folded the fabric into two. I used the hip measurement to cut out the damp part. So I will go ahead and impute the measurement. So a quarter of the waist measurement is nine inches. I will still add one and a half inches for sewing allowance. From waist to hip is 8 inches plus half inch sewing allowance, that's 8 and half inches. So right on this um, 8 and half inches, I'll place the hip measurement. The hip measurement is 46 inches, divided by 4 is 11 and half inches. I will add 1 and half inches for sewing allowance. So I will go to the damp part, check what I have here and reduce one and a half inches and place it here. This is the hip line. I will measure what I have here. I have 13 inches here. So I will go to the bottom part and subtract one and a half inches from 13 inches. So 13 minus one and a half is 11 and a half inches. I'll mark 11 and a half inches here. You can subtract one inch if you don't want it to curvy. So what I will do is to connect it to the waistline from the waist to the damp part. I'll connect it to the damp part. So that's it for the damp part. I'll go ahead and cut it. So for the damp part, I will reduce the lining by one inch. So I'll split the back side open. So that's it for the damp part. So we'll be cutting out the sleeves. I'll be using white and the uh, and craft fabric for the sleeve. Measurement, the first measurement will be from here to here. That's the African print and from here to here is the white fabric. I'll put a, a band here. The full length of the sleeve is 24 inches. So the first part is 12 inches. The second part is uh, 9 inches while the band is 3 inches. So I will cut out the first part. 
I'm cutting out the two sleeves, I fold the fabric into two, I fold it again because I'm cutting out two sleeves. I'll add one inch for sewing allowance, that's the 10 inches. So I have 10 inches here, half of my round sleeve is 9 inches. So I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance, that's 10 inches. I'll mark 4 inches here right from this upper part, I'll come down by 4 inches. Now look for the midpoint of this 10 inches. I will connect it right from here to here. Bring it down there and bring it to the bottom. The round sleeve is 13 inches divided by 2 is 6 and half inches. I will add 1 inch for sewing allowance. That's 7 and half inches. So I'll take it again right from here. Bring it like so. And from here, I will bring it down to this seven and a half inches. I'll go ahead and cut it out. So I'll be cutting out the second section of the sleeves. I'll just place it like so. Because I'll be joining this to the upper part. So the second section is uh, nine inches. I'll add one inch for sewing allowance. So I will still measure here because I'll be joining this to the cuff or the band. I have nine inches here. I will divide nine by two, which is four and a half inches, plus one inch sewing allowance. That's five and a half inches. I will connect it right from here to this five and a half inches. I will use this to cut out the 3 inches band. I'm cutting out 4 inches because I will be using 1 inch for sewing allowance. I'll still take it like so. Hope you guys understand what I'm doing. This is the first, second, and the text. I just want to cut everything together. So I have everything cut out. We'll be cutting out the collar later on. First I will join the lining and the normal fabric together, both the upper part and the down part. So I'm not using the lining to turn the neckline because I'll be adding collar to the neckline. So this is the wrong side of the fabric and this is the wrong side of the lining. I will place them together like so. I will just join them together. together. I will do the same thing for the back and the down part. So remember the down part. The fabric is one inch longer than the lining. I will use the lining to turn the down part because of this bottom side. Make sure the right side of the lining is facing the right side of the fabric. I will stitch them together, use half inch to stitch them together because I will be turning this inside out. I will do the same thing for the front part. So guys, I'm done joining the lining and the fabric together. After I finish stitching it right side, facing right side, I turn it to the other side and they give it a good press. So you use iron to press it and make sure this lining and the normal fabric align together here. I did the same thing to the back side. What we are going to do is to join the upper parts and the down parts together. So I will turn it like so, right side facing right side. I will use half inch to join them together at the waistline. I will do the same thing for the back side. So this is the upper part and this is the down part. I also use half inch to join them at the waistline here. So after I've done that, I will attach my zip to the back side. My zip is up to here. I will place it like so, stitch up the side and attach my zip here. So I finished joining the upper part and the 
the damp part together. So I've also attached the zip. So I left about uh, 6 inches open here for free movement. So what we are going to do is to join the front and the back together. I will lay the front against the back panel. Right side facing right side. I will use half inch to join the shoulders. And then use one and half inches to join the side. Remember one and a half inches is our sewing allowance. I will mark one and a half inches right from the armpit all the way to the bottom of the dress. I will do the same thing for this side. So guys, I'm done joining the front and the back together. I will set this aside. We'll be working on the sleeves now. So this is the first section. This is the second one and the, this is the third one. This last one is 3 inches. If you are cutting it, you cut out 6 inches. You cut out 6 inches. By the time you fold it, you have 3 inches. So you will add maybe half inch for sewing allowance, making it 3.5 inches. Folded into it too is 3.5 inches. When you open it up, you have 7 inches. So this will be here. So what we are going to do is to fold half inch inside. I will fold half inch inside here and place it on top of this white one. I will make a top stitch here. Then, sew this one here. So I'll use half inch to sew this side and then use half inch to top stitch this side. After sewing it, you have something like this. You will turn it like so and then use one inch to join the side. So I'm done with the sleeves. I will go ahead and attach it to the dress. If you like, you can leave this place open and then add buttons here. I've already turned the dress to the wrong side. So I'll go ahead and tuck it inside. I'll match the side seam together. The side seam of the dress and the side seam of the sleeve. I'll match them together. Right side facing right side. So I will use half inch to join them together. So I'm done attaching the sleeves to the dress. The only thing remaining is the collar. I will go ahead and measure the neckline and use it to cut out the collar. This is the midpoint. I will just fold it into two. Measure it like so. So I have 9 inches here, 9 inches on this side and 9 inches on the other side, that is 18 inches. Okay. If you look at the picture very well, you can see that one of the collar is longer than the other one. So and the side is a little bit curvy. So we'll be cutting out the short one, then we'll use the short one to trace out the long one. I'll divide the neckline by 2, 18 divided by 2 is 9 inches. So I'll fold my fabric into 2. I'm cutting out the short one first. So I have about three and a half inches here. So for this side, it all depends on you how point you want this side to be. For me, I want this side to be seven inches. That is the upper part. I'll mark seven inches here. This will be the pointed part. I've done series of this video. Because I folded it into two, I will still divide it nine inches by two. Nine divided by two is four and a half inches. Mark four and a half inches here. And add one inch for sewing allowance. That's five and a half inches. I will connect these seven inches to this five and a half inches. So I will go to the midpoint here. I will go inside by half inch, right on this midpoint. And I will connect this. I will take it right from here, connect it to be this half inch. So I will go ahead and cut it out. I will be cutting out two of these, two for this side and the 
two for the other side. So I will go ahead and use this to cut out the longer one. We'll be cutting out the collar. So I will use the collar I cut out to trace out the neckline. I will use the interfacing to trace it out. So I will place it on top like so. What I will do is to trace out the neckline. So I've traced it out. I'll take this out. So it totally depends on how wide you want it to be. It's a very bold color. But right from this neckline, I will take six and a half inches. I'll just mark it like so round. Six and a half inches or six inches. So first I will connect this one. And I will connect these lines. So when I get to this place, I will just make a straight line here. Depending on how many inches you want to add to it. Right from here, I will mark 8 inches. So from this 8 inches, you just draw a straight line here. I'm using a constructing color so that you guys can see very well. So that's just it. I will cut this out and then transfer it to my white fabric. So guys, I've cut out the the colors I cut out two of these and two of these and I, I ironed interfacing on each one on this side and one on this side so we we'll go ahead and uh, join them together the interfacing I ironed on it is, is a light interfacing the one I use in tracing out the neckline is a very light one it's not too hard so I will lay them against each other I'll do the same thing for this side. Right side facing right side. I'll use a quarter of an inch to sew it here, up here, and bring it down here. I'll do the same thing for this side. I will sew the side here, here, and here. So this is the neckline. Oh, this is where we're going to turn it out from. So guys, I finished sewing it. I will go ahead and uh, turn it inside out. I've already turned out this one. I'll use the pressing iron to press it very well. Before you turn it inside out, make sure you cut out the excess fabric or you notch it. So I will go ahead and uh, attach this side to the neckline. You can stitch this side first before attaching it to the neckline. So we'll turn our dress to the wrong side. So I will look for the midpoint of the front part. This is the midpoint. I will start stitching it right from here. So I turn it to the wrong side. You can start stitching it right from the back. I will bring it very close to the zip. I will pin it around the neckline. So this is for this. So for the small one, you also pin it on this side. We we'll pin the small one on this side, and then pin the big one on this side. So I will go ahead and then use half inch or a quarter of an inch to stitch it. I will stitch this one right from the back zip all the way to the midpoint here. And the small one, 
I will stitch it also right from the back zip all the way to the midpoint here. You make sure they are close together. This is the front midpoint. You make sure they are very close here. So I'll go ahead and sew it. So guys, I'm done attaching the collars to the neckline. So after attaching it, I flimp it to the right side. This is the same. This is the damp part. Let me turn it to the wrong side. This is the back side. This is also longer than the small one. I just made a small stitch here just to keep it in place. Both sides. Oh, the dress is very beautiful if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you're new here please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get to know whenever i upload new video thank you so much guys for watching i will see you in my next one love you bye